Well, today I want to talk about assumption and social media and I guess those two things together. When I came back from my trip to see my friend in Iowa, I wrote something down in my notes and I never did anything with that thought but I came across it the other day as I was scrolling and I really want to talk about it. During my time in Iowa, I saw people who I hadn't seen in like three years, but that I follow on social media. And as we were sitting together at a party, re rekindling our friendship or whatever, uh, something hit me. They were so different from what I pictured and assumed they would be like, because I only know them based on their image they portray on social media and because of that I drew a lot of conclusions both good and bad um, that were just kind of unfolding and flipping before my eyes. Then the thought hit me and this is what I wrote down in my notes. I follow so many people on social media that I haven't seen in years but yet I feel like I know and I bet they're nothing like what I think they are in real life. Now, I wanna address this because I think if I continue to assume who people are strictly based on their social accounts, I have the ability to separate myself from them in my head and draw conclusions that may not be fair or even realistic. In addition to that, I think this is a great reminder just to be in the presence and that there's so much more to people than I could ever begin to comprehend. Everyone is struggling with something on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And everyone has their reasons for what they believe. Everyone has little moments that remind them that life is beautiful. And everyone needs affirmation and love regardless of how they present themselves on social media. I don't wanna forget that people are so much more than their accounts and the pictures they take and what they choose to show us. And I don't want to forget that <laughs> until I take the time to get to know somebody face to face or, or over the phone even and actually talk to them, that I don't really know them at all. And I want to be somebody who is an active person in people's lives, not just a passive one. I want to know the ins and outs of my friends and acquaintances, and what makes them tick, and what they need help with, and what drives them to keep going when life gets hard. It just kind of hit me all at once, as I'm sitting at this party observing my, my Facebook friends, who I think I know, um, that I assume a lot throughout my life. And if I'm not careful, it's gonna continue to take away from reality and like what real life is and the beauty that that has to offer. And so I just want to remember that thought. And I'm, I'm trying to find a way to make this, this cohesive, but really just my main point is, is that we can't assume. We can't assume we know people. Uh, we can't assume that they have confidence. We can't assume that they're not struggling with something. We can't assume that we know exactly what they like until we take the time to get to know them and they tell us face to face. Like, I know that I portray myself on social media in a certain way and is that who I am? Yes, for the most part, but it's not all of who I am. And I think even I can get caught up in thinking that that's all there is to my friends and the people that I follow. And it's not, and <laughs> that hit me that night. So, yeah, that's, that's all I want to say in this video diary, but I thought it was a really good point and something I really want to look back on and never, ever forget. So, until next time. With every line of poetry